Okay, back to the no cooling calls, of course. Beautiful day here in South Carolina, and it is hot. I think we're in the upper 80s. Suits me. Tired of winter. So let's take our usual toys here. See if we can diagnose why they have no AC. Okay, he says it does come on in the house and it does blow air. So the indoor unit is apparently working. I'm gonna assume we got something going on out here, but. Yep, all right, we just heard a contactor on this one kick in. So, I don't know if it might be something as simple as the breaker tripped. Well, who knows what? But we're going to look at all the Typical, simple culprits first. The contactor looks pretty good. So, first thing we want to do is see if we got power. And I'm thinking either we don't have any power or Okay, so I checked it one leg at a time and both legs. Where's the breakers at, sir? In the garage? In the garage. Can you open that? Let me get to the breaker panel. Yes. So, we're gonna go. Check the breaker before we do anything else. Yeah, they didn't, not in no hurry for us to come in. You know how some people, they sort of open the door and walk out and stand out on the porch and talk to you. That's one of these deals here. And now it's gonna take him a minute to open the garage, it looks like. So, this disconnect's hanging all loose. get a ground or something I don't know AT&T guy shame on you looks like that one's tripped let's go outside and look so this is what I call a 
nuisance call, basically. Um, nothing directed at the homeowner or their equipment or anything, but you know, when we don't have any reason for it, uh, he was out here with me, so I didn't really get much footage, but the amp draws on all three legs, you know, the two legs to the compressor and the start were all looked normal. Fan motor, everything. Just don't see any problem. I got no idea what, uh, what tripped the breaker. And it may have been tripped ever since this guy came in here and put this whatever he put in it in or he used it to go through the house somehow uh, I don't want to shut him back down and pull this off and look but get the light on it looks like he just needed him a passageway. Tell you what, boy, that ought to not have happened. I mean, now his door won't shut. Almost. So I don't know if that happened back, you know, whenever they did that. Maybe they did this in the wintertime. It looks relatively new. And I don't know what they did that for. There's the old phone lines taken out of it. So I'm guessing that's U-verse or something. Because I'm telling you now, they're the ones that came and did that. Yeah, see, so this is right in line with outside, so this is where they brought their wire in through that disconnect for the air conditioner. And I bet you anything, they tripped that breaker then. Yeah, they had to, yeah. I mean, in there drilling and whatever they did. Yeah. And so there's your modem. Mm -hmm. And you say you got that in January, right? Right. From AT&T. So you wouldn't notice a breaker tripped in January. Because you wouldn't be running air conditioning. Well, I believe I'd call them if I was you and tell them they owe you up for my service call. Okay, well that customer is not happy and I don't blame him. And he's going to be on the phone with AT&T probably before I get up here to the stop sign and tell them they owe him money. I gave him our card and told him I had a couple little pictures of it, whatever he wanted. I don't know why they would do something like that, but I'm quite sure that had something to do with that breaker being tripped. I don't, you know, if I was gonna drill a hole in the back of a power box, I believe I'd go turn the breaker off, but maybe they rubbed the wire with their drill bit. I don't know. They need to come out there and fix that. I know that. And they need to pay him back for the service fee. So in a situation like that, we do a discounted rate. Uh, like I say, we call that a nuisance call. And it's not that the customer is a nuisance, it's just that problem is a nuisance to the customer and us. So anyway, simple problem. I hope we hit a couple more simple ones and get home early today. Thanks for watching.